Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff back again with another Iron Maiden song. And of course, this is Brave New World. It's been requested by a number of my subscribers over the past few months. So I thought, let's get into it. Let's just put this together for you. Not too bad, not too difficult on this. A number of different parts to play some nice little melody lines. So I know you're going to enjoy learning how to play this one. Now, if you're a first time uh, viewer to the channel, hi, how you doing? Why don't you take the opportunity, uh, help me and help yourself, of course, at the same time by clicking on that subscribe button, clicking on that bell. That way you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. And if you're an Iron Maiden fan, really, this is the channel for you lot of Iron Maiden lessons on here for you to look through and enjoy learning how to play. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's get into the song and let me show you how to play Brave New World. So you know the score. Don't go away. Right, let's have a look at the opening piece that is being played by Dave Murray, which is an arpeggiated section that is played on a clean guitar, but there's also a bit of delay, so I'll just play it through and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So we start off on an open D string, going to the 7 on the D, going to the 10 on the G. Then we repeat going open D to the 7 on the D, to a 9. Then we're going to shift onto the open G, and we're going to do open G5 to the 8 on the B. And then back to the open G to the 5 to the 6, and then open G to the 5, and then to the 5 on the B. And then we repeat back, so, so far we go. And we're going to repeat that three times. And from there, we're going down to the open G string, but we're going to go to the 3 on the G, and then go into the 3 on the B. And then all 3 on the G, to five on the B, back to the open G, to the three, to the six, and then we're going to work back down going all three, five, all three again, to the three, and then we do one more trip round on that D string going the all seven and then running up. Now that is the sequence, so it's three on the top part here, we just call that parts doing that D string. Moving down to the G, I do that sequence three times. And then we move down to that on the third fret, moving up from three, five, seven, and then one more time back up to the O7, that sequence there. So that is the opening section that is played continually through the intro by Dave Murray. Now we're just going to look at what is being played behind that by Yannick Gears. So again, I'm just going to play it through and then we'll break it down. This, of course, is played on the electric guitar with quite a bit of uh, sustain and uh, overdrive on that. So let me just play it through. Course, he just keeps repeating that motif round and round. So we just started off on the B on the 10th fret and we're going to go B 10 to 13 and then 12 on the G. Then on the G string we're going to do 10, 12, 12. Back to the B string for the 10th, 13 and then we do 10, Sorry, do we do 12, 10, 12 on the G? To the 10 on the B. So. And of course, 
course, that just repeats through that main intro section. Now, you keep on playing that right through the intro, and then there's a build-up that is done by Adrian Smith that takes us into the main part of the song, which is the bit we're now going to check out. So it goes like this. <laughs> Now that keeps on looping round, so let's just break that down. The first two bars are just the build up, so you're just playing a D5 chord going. Now after the build up, we go into the main rhythm, and we're playing this initially over a D5 chord. But we're going to play two chugs followed by a chord. Two chugs again, chord, two chugs, two chugs, chord. And then we've got two more chugs. And then we're going to do a D5 to a B flat. Followed by two chugs on the B flat, which is on the first fret. Chord, chord, chord. Two chugs again. And then we do a B flat, B flat five to a C. Two chugs, C. And then we back to the seven. Two chugs, two chugs, two chugs. So we've always got this two single note chord, two single note chord, two single note. And you've got to play the chord four times before you move. So let's just go through that part there just to get that rhythm. Behind that, at a slightly increased tempo, when we move on to the rhythm, Yannick Gears is still playing that line that we played before, which is that. <laughs> just at a slightly tiny tempo. I think you go from 110 to 120 on that, but you can always check it out on the tablet sheet. But that's what I believe. So it's just a same rhythm. Uh, sorry, same lick, just played at a faster tempo. Now we're going to look at the chorus, and first of all, we're going to look at what Dave Murray's playing. So I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down. <laughs> So what we're doing there, we are playing the usual Iron Maiden gallop, which is always that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That would take a full bar. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then we're going to cross over to the uh, sixth fret on the E string, and we're going to go down, down, up, down. And then we've got a down, up on the six, followed by this riff, which is played five on the A, seven on the A, eight on the A, back to the seven, to the eight, cross to the five on the D, and then eight, seven on the A. So we go. Now that can be quite a little bit challenging at first to get from that six where you're playing that. And then we've got a whole bar on the 8th fret, which is the C on the E string doing the gallop. Back to the 5 on the A string, we're going to do two, two bars of that. Then we back on and repeat. Now you're going to repeat that whole section four times and then we go back to a verse section which was that rhythmic thing that we looked at that Adrian Smith is playing. Now while Dave Mary is playing that, Adrian Smith is just playing the gallop, just playing the chords. So we get this... That 
quite straightforward. Just playing from a D chord to a B flat, which is on the sixth fret on the E, up to a C, which is on seventh, uh, A fret on the E, and back to the D on the five fret on the A. In verse number three, there is a slight change in the way we are playing the rhythm. So I'm just going to play it all the way through and then we'll break it down all the chords stage by stage. So we start off like this. Okay, let's follow that through, and again, just follow the tab if you're ever unsure about that. But we start off with a D. Uh, so you can either do it, or just down strokes. Down to a B flat, so you're on first fret. Up to the C. To the D. Again on the D. B flat. C. D. Back to the B flat. C, B flat, then to the D, B flat, C, B flat, finish off on. Behind that, all this happening, uh, Dave Murray is just playing eighths on that. So you get, just going one and two and three and four. And four. play like that so you've got that going behind supporting what Adrian Smith is doing with Dave Murray playing on the eights over that let's just have a quick look what Yannick Gears is doing over that well he's just playing his usual that he was doing at the beginning we've got that That's what Yannick is, he's playing over verse number three through that new type of rhythm that we have over that section. So the chorus after verse number three goes back to the Iron Maiden gallop, uh, exactly what we put before, we play that all the way through. The next up we've got the first of the solos which is Yannick Gears solo. Behind that we are playing the same chords that we played through verse number three which was that going. <laughs> got a slightly different way to be played to be going so it's the exact same chord progression that's been played through that we just got that longer feel of that so we don't have the eights at the beginning it's just that that's your chord rhythm plays all the way through for Yannick Gizzi's solo now we're into Dave Murray's solo and it's playing the same type of rhythm but just a different set of chords. We are playing an E to a C down on 3rd fret to 5th fret for the D up to 7th fret for the E E again down to the C D up to the E at this point, we go into the dual harmony section of the song. So let's check that out. Now let's have a look, first of all, what Dave Murray's going. The first part goes like this. Now while I'm doing that, I'm playing a nine on the G to eight and then, sorry, seven and then eight on the B string. Repeat. Then I do a seven on the G, to a nine on the G, across to the seven on the B, back to the nine on the G. And then we repeat the first part again. Again. Same thing again, seven, 
to the nine and then across to the seven. Now we have got a quick run up and he's just playing through a quick ascending scale. Uh, what I'm playing there, I'm just doing the nine on the G string. And then I'm doing a, a seven, eight on the B. Then I go back to the nine again on the G. And then I do a seven, eight, ten on the B. Back on the seven, eight, ten again. And then I cross over to the seven. And then I'm back on the eight on the B string to the ten. And then across to the seven and finish it on the eight. And then we repeat that whole line again up to the quick run. And now for the descending pattern, which goes eight, seven on the B, nine on the G, back to the seven on the B, and then we've got a nine, seven, nine, seven on the G. To the 10 on the D string, back to the 7 on the G, then we do a 9, 10, 9, 10 on the D, and then we got a 7 on the D, finishing on the 10 on the A. And from there we go back into the chorus, which is that Iron Maiden Gallop again. Well, from there we go back to the chorus, which is the Iron Maiden Gallop section. Play all the way through that. Once we've completed that, we go back to the same part we played at the beginning, which was that part on the clean guitar. Play through that whole section, run that through, and that takes us to the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play at Brave New World. Quite a few little sections there, nothing really too difficult. Of course, I've got the backing track that you'll be able to download through my website and play along with it. And as usual, I will be including all the tablature for the different guitar parts. Well, I'm going to let you get on. So until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you well, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>